Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All of the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial I'm going to discuss the Java++, the increment operator, and the Java++, which is the decrement operator. We're going to go ahead and open up my website here, javacjava.com, so we can go ahead and go through a few things on the tutorial and cut and paste some code out of there. Okay, so we'll go to javacjava.com. I just clicked on the begin button there, and we're going to go down to the increment and decrement operators tutorial. Um, the Java language has several unary operators. This tutorial will discuss the proper use of the increment and decrement operators. The increment operator is simply a pair of plus symbols that are placed either before or after an operand or a variable, right? So you got a variable plus plus or plus plus variable. The decrement operator is simply a pair of minus symbols, minus minus, that are placed either before or after an operand. Same thing, variable minus minus or minus minus variable. They work by simply incrementing or decrementing the operand or variable by one. These two operators are used quite often in many looping statements. The prefix, which is the plus plus version um, in front of the variable, evaluates to the incremented value. The postfix, which is variable plus plus, after that version evaluates to the original value. And I'll explain what this means later in the tutorial. It really is one of the critical things that is quite misunderstood. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the first one here and we're just going to highlight this, hit control C, you can hit copy too as you will if you want. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just minimize that. We'll go down to start and search, type in CMD to open up the command prompt. And we'll type in CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory. Um, backslash tells it to go down to the root of the C drive. Uh, we're going to type in md, which is make directory java, and I already have it, so, uh, but that'll create it for you if you don't already have it. We're going to change directories to the java. We're going to make a directory called increment, and we're going to go ahead and change to that increment folder. Type in notepad increment.java. Increment.java is going to be the name of our java source code file, um, also known as a compilation unit. Throughout today's tutorial we're going to be overriding the code in, in this file multiple times there. So to start off with we're just going to go ahead and paste this in here. Um, so what we've got going on here is of course we've got our class definition of increment, our code block here, our main entry point, our code block start, code block end. Um, we're declaring a variable a of integer data type equal to 1 and integer b equal to 10. Okay? We'll do a really simple statement here. a equals a plus 1, right? a equals 2 now. b equals b minus 1. And then we're going to go ahead and print that out. a equals this, b equals, and then the value of b. Okay? And then we're going to use the shorthand version of exactly kind of what this does up here, right? Which is a plus plus. And that is the increment operator right here, okay? So um, since uh, a is equal to 2 now, a plus plus, that'll make it equal to 3. Uh, b up here is equal to 9. b down here with minus minus will now be equal to 8, and we'll print that out, okay? Then we're going to use the prefix version of the increment operator there. And so we're going to basically add 1 to a, which will equal 4, and we're going to subtract 1 from b, which will now equal 7. So pretty, pretty simple concept on the plus plus and minus minus there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clear the screen here, type in Java C for the Java compiler, pass it our source code file name. And we'll go ahead and compile that. I call Java and invoke the increment class. And we get exactly what we were hoping for, right? Um, a equals 2, B equals 9, A equals 3, B equals 8, A equals 4, B equals 7. So you kind of see how that works there. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and put my command prompt down here. And 
I'm just going to highlight all this and hit the delete key. We'll pop back to the Java C website, my website here. And what we're going to do is copy this next section of code here. And this next section of code, I'm going to explain the difference between the prefix and the um, postfix stuff up here, right? The prefix value evaluates the incremented value and the postfix version evaluates to the original value. And what, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paste this code in here and kind of explain this here. So this, this is really simple here. Uh, we're just gonna simply print that. We're gonna declare an integer x equal to one. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a little spacing here too as well. And we are going to use the print method, which doesn't print a line feed, right? Print and prints and a line feed with print line. So this will simply display X and then equal to plus plus X prefix. Will this print out too? Hmm, good question. And we're gonna set a, a new variable called Y and set it at equal to one as well. And print out essentially the same thing, okay? Now let's go ahead and save this here. Ignore this down here for just a second here. We're going to go ahead and clear the screen. Compile it again. Okay, so here's what we've got. Pull this over here a little bit. So you can see with this line right here, um, plus plus x executed right here and over there you can see that x is equal to 2 here and y is equal to 1 when it printed out and um, you know why did x and y print different values well what happens and i'm going to try to explain this as best i can here um, the prefix version it changes the value of x before the complete execution of the entire statement, right? And uh, all statements except code blocks are terminated with a semicolon in Java, right? So this is the very end of the statement being executed right here, okay? So what this did is, is when it hit this particular expression here, plus plus x, it changed the value of x right then and there because this is the prefix version of the increment operator, okay? So that's why it printed out x equals two. The postfix version does not change the value of the variable until after execution of the, uh, the complete execution of the end of the statement, okay? So basically, when we say y plus plus here, y will not change its value, which is one, until after the semicolon, right, after execution of this statement, okay? So that's why this comes out as y equals one. Now, basically, to prove this, we'll just print the current value of y, right? So you can obviously see when we printed this here, right, it said one, and then when we come down here, you could see that y has actually now equal to two. So that's basically the way the prefix and the postfix um, increment and decrement operators work. The prefix one will actually increment the value of the variable right then and there. The postfix one won't, won't change the value of the variable until after the statement has completed or the code block. Um, let's go ahead and delete this out of here. I'm just gonna re kind of do a few more exercises here in this tutorial to get you guys a little bit more comfortable with the idea of this because it's definitely one of the most confusing things as far as like learning the basic basics of Java goes. So we're going to go ahead and control C to copy that, control V to paste this in here. We're just going to save this. Okay, so now in this version of it, um, we're just going to pay attention to everything above this line here. So we've got an int D equals five. That's pretty simple here. And we've got uh, just printing this little string out here with no line feed. Is D++ equal to++ D? Good question, right? 
and then we're going to actually print this out and let's let's just go ahead and compile this and see what happens here okay we're gonna go ahead and clear the screen Java C and Java okay so is D plus plus equal to plus plus D and the answer to that is false okay and I'm gonna explain why here so when and I've got this in a nice multi-line comment here so when D++ is evaluated on the left side of the relational operator, and this is a relational operator, um, the value of D is still 5 because the statement has not finished executing. Okay? So D++ won't change the value of D until after the statement is finished. Right? Okay? So the postfix operator um, you know, obviously will not change the value of D until the statement is finished execution. Just repeating myself here. Remember, all Java statements except blocks are terminated by a semicolon. Now, when plus plus D is evaluated on the right side of the relational operator, which is this over here, right? The value of D is immediately changed to six because the plus plus prefix operator changes the value prior to the statement completion, okay? So when this hits right here, it immediately changes it to six, okay? So what we've got is the expression d plus plus is the expression d plus plus is it equal to plus plus d is literally five equals six, which is of course false, right? Because you could say this comes in here has five, and that won't change until this ends. Here's the little tricky part here. Then we're going to check this expression plus plus d. That'll literally change that to six. Okay. So is five equal to six? The answer is no, it's false, right? But now what is the current value of D? Because as you know, we've, we've called this expression and it's not going to increase D until afterwards. So if we think about it, um, D will be equal to seven, right? This changes it to six and then this will change it to seven only after the execution of this statement is complete. So we come back here to our DOS prompt. What is the value of D now that the statement has executed? And it is equal to seven. So that's what's going on there. So in the same program, we've also got, uh, I'm gonna change the, uh, the variable D back to five. And we're gonna print out, it's almost the same thing. You can see I've got plus plus D first now instead of D++, and I've basically reversed the order of these now. So, let's think about this here. Um, is plus plus D going to be equal to D++? So as we're executing this statement here, or this expression, we come along plus plus D. Now as you know, it's going to take 5, and it's going to change this to 6 before the end of the statement execution. Then we check it. If it's equal to, we're checking a relational equal to operator there. And then D++ at this point in time, when it executes this expression, is not going to change the value until the end, okay? So essentially what we've got here is we've got is 6 equal to 6, right? Expression plus plus D equals D++ plus plus is literally 6 equals 6, which is, of course, true, right? And this is the exact same thing that I went through up there, but I'm going to go ahead and just repeat it just to kind of drill it in one more time. When D++ is evaluated on the left side of the relational operator, the value of D is immediately changed to 6 because the plus plus prefix operator changes the val val value prior to statement completion. When D++ is evaluated on the right side of the relational operator, the value of D is still 6 because the statement has not finished executing. The postfix operator will not change the value of D until the statement has finished execution. Remember, all Java statements except code blocks are terminated by a semicolon. So the expression plus plus D equals D plus plus is literally six equals six, which of course is true. Now what is going to be the value of D once all this is executed? So if we think about this here, this changed it to six. This is still six before the end of the semicolon. Then after the semicolon, it'll go ahead and change it to five, to seven, I'm sorry. And so it'll, come out there and here's what we've got is plus plus D equal to D plus plus true what is the value of D now that the statement is executed seven okay so um, I'll go ahead and pull back up my website and get some of this stuff out of the way here close out of this close out of that and just to go over some final thoughts so the 
You know, the plus, plus, and minus, minus operators are used quite often in Java programming, especially in looping statements, as you'll learn in future tutorials. And if you don't thoroughly understand the differences between the postfix and prefix versions of the increment and decrement operators, then please take some time to review this tutorial until you do. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.